Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Bob Dan Wilds coming to you with another video. This video will be about the AFC wildcard predictions. Here we go. Let's get to it. All right. Tomorrow afternoon, Chiefs against the Texans. Chiefs have been going on a huge roll, 10-game winning streak. I think, if you ask me, they started going on a, on their 10-game winning streak since Jamal Charles has been out with an injury with a torn ACL, I believe it was. That's kind of a coincidence, if you ask me. Jamal Charles is their starter when they, and uh, they reach 1-5. He has a torn ACL. The next week, they start they start being on a roll, and they win their last 10 games. And, uh, yeah, they're in the wild card. That's kind of a coincidence with me. To me, I'm sorry, to me. It's kind of bizarre, isn't it? A big coincidence. And the Texans have uh, won their uh, division at 9-7. They've been doing pretty good. Their defense has definitely upgraded. Quarterback quarterback situation struggles have been going on, but they're somehow doing good. DeAndre Hopkins has been doing amazing, especially their defense. Obviously, J.J. Watt. Uh, this game, I'm going to have to go with... Hmm... Face e face each other week one of the regular season. Um, Chiefs won twenty seven twenty. Uh, this game I'm gonna have to go with. Mm. Texans. I'm going with the Texans. Sorry, I'm going with the Texans. I think their defense will be able to stop their offense. The defense has been doing good. Uh, Chiefs offense is okay, but I don't think it's going to be good enough to uh, get through the uh, Texans' uh, third-ranked defense in the NFL. So, yeah, I got Texans winning that. All right, and then I'm going to save the Steelers and Bengals game for last, all right? Um, su Sunday afternoon is the Seahawks against the Vikings. Uh going to be pretty cold in uh, Minnesota. It's, I think it's supposed to be under zero degrees or something. Or like that. I don't know. Uh, Seahawks, Minnesota face each other. I can't, I can't remember what week, but Seahawks won that 38-7. Uh, Minnesota able to win their uh, uh, division by being the Packers. I'm doing pretty good. Um... Teddy Bridgewater has actually been doing pretty good. Adrian Peterson, well, you know, it's Adrian Peterson. He's one hell of a running back. Um, but Seattle has been going on a roll for the last seven games or something like that. Russell Wilson has been playing great. He's hardly ever thrown any interceptions. I don't think he's thrown any interceptions within the seven games. I can't remember. I, I, I don't know. But their defense has done amazing, too. The running game hasn't changed since Marshawn Lynch has been out. Um, this game is gonna be tough. I'm going with Seattle on this one. I got Seattle winning this. All right, then Sunday afternoon again is Green Bay. The Packers at the Washington Redskins. Now Green Bay has definitely been struggling, especially on offense. Ever since jo jo Jordy Nelson, Jordy Nelson got hurt in the preseason against Pittsburgh towards ACL, and I think that's what's causing this offense to struggle. Because Aaron Rodgers has mostly been struggling. The offensive line is beat up. They're hardly ever blocking uh, Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers hasn't been able to find an open man. The receivers keep dropping the footballs that are wide open straight to him. Uh, the Redskins have actually been on a roll, especially Kirk Cousins, Desha Deshaun Jackson, Jordan Reed. Um, I can't remember who their running back is, but I th he's, uh, he's been doing pretty, pretty good too. This game, I do n I, I see... Green Bay coming out of this winning, but I also see Washington winning this since Green Bay is struggling. 
But this game, I'm gonna have to go with the Redskins because they're they're dom they've been dominant, they've been amazing, they're playing great, and yeah, they've been playing awesome and great. So I got I got the Redskins winning this game. And last but not least, the Pittsburgh Steelers facing. The Cincinnati Bengals for the third time this season Pittsburgh will be facing Cincinnati. Dang it. Series is tied this season. Bengals have won one. Steelers have won one. And now here we are in the wild card. Saturday night. Steelers, top offense in the AFC, third ranked offense in the NFL. Defense it has upgraded since last season, but secondary needs to get freaking better since we're in the playoffs. Uh, we got a, we got a hell of a quarterback, obviously Ben Roethlisberger. DeAndre Will D'Angelo Williams is out with a foot injury, so Fitzgerald, Toussaint, and Jordan Thomas is going to try their best to be able to help the running game, so hopefully they can do something. And Cincinnati, Andy Dalton is out with a thumb injury still, so A.J. McCarron is going to stay the starter. Uh, this is going to be a tough freaking challenge. I... Uh, Obviously, I have my team Pittsburgh winning this. I definitely have. I'm obviously I'm cheering for my team. I cheer for my team all the time, every game, every week. No matter who we face, I always cheer for my team. But I already know that this this game is going to be tough. It's not going to be easy. No game is ever easy. Like my brother Danny said, no game is ever easy. Like us against Baltimore, uh, two weeks ago. We got beaten. It's because they know this team. They know this team. They know they know their players. They know that they know their tricks. That's ha that's why every game is tough, no matter who you face. If it's a losing team or winning team, no matter what, every game is tough. Obviously, like I said, I got my team winning this, so hopefully we can be able to um, win this game. And if we do win this game, I believe that we go face um. The Broncos, I believe. I think so. I can't remember. But if we win this game, I believe we go to uh, Denver and face the Broncos in the divisional round. So hopefully we can be able to win this game, head to the divisional round. And, yeah. This game won't be easy. It's going to be tough as heck. But I'm excited for it. I'm, re I'm ready to... Uh, I'm ready for Pittsburgh to take on Cincinnati for the third time, just like 2005. This is basically 2000. This is just like 2005. Pittsburgh, number six seed in in the playoffs. We faced the Bengals in the wild card, and in 2005 we were tied one. We were tied in the series one one. The Steelers won 31 17, and then we went on to face the Colts and then the Broncos, and we went on to win the Super Bowl and Super Bowl 40. But that was when we had a better defense. That was when we had Casey Hampton, uh, James Ferrier, Aaron Smith, Troy Palomalu. That was when we had about the number one defense. Our defense has definitely changed since those great legendary Steelers players have retired. This is why... I want this defense to boost up and get better. This defense needs to boost up. We need to tackle better. We need to cover better. We need to play better. So I'm hoping our defense can be able to do something and stop uh, um, the Bengals' offense. I'm hoping that our defense can do something. I'm hoping our offense can do what we 
usually do. That's go down the field and hope, hopefully and score. Hopefully we can be able to do that with our offense. Hopefully our defense can do something. Because obviously it is the wild card. Any team in the wild card, any team in the playoffs want to win. So I'm hoping we can be able to win this and head to Denver. Hopefully we can be able to win this. Hopefully our defense can do something. Hopefully our offense can be able to prevail. So hopefully Steelers can be able to win. So yeah, that's the video. Hope you like it. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Peace!